Hello, it is Miss Khan here, and it is Wednesday, the 13th of January, 2021. Now, I'll be doing some maths with you today, so we'll be looking at 3D shapes. Now, now yesterday, I know we were looking at 3D shapes, but today we're going to continue. Our what is to continue to identify 3D shapes. Okay, our how is retrieving our learning, so retrieving learning from yesterday. Okay, and why? So we can identify 3D shapes around us. Okay, and we'll be doing something very funny and exciting around your homes or even when you, if you're in school. So, just a quick discover, okay. Uh, you can see there are lots of 3D shapes, okay. There are some 3D shapes, so I wonder if you can remind me of the names. Okay, it, it's a, a sphere. My turn, Sophia. Your turn. My turn, a cylinder. Your turn. Brilliant. My turn, a cube. Your turn. Fantastic. And the last one, my turn, a cuboid. Your turn. Fantastic. Now, can you have a look at the objects, objects here, and the 3D shapes? Are there any similarities? And can you use your explain it glasses to explain to someone at home? Or if you're at school, explain to someone on the carpet. Have a little think, hmm, are there any similarities? Is there anything that is the same about anything? Give you a couple of seconds to think about that. I'm looking at this and I see some similarities. Then about you, okay, I see the shape, I see the sphere, and I'm looking at the football, okay? They look the same. Now, if we had a sphere and we had a football, okay, they are both spheres, okay? They are both spheres. So there are a lot of 3D shapes all around us without us even, even knowing. So the sphere and the football are very similar, okay? Because this is a sphere and this looks like a sphere. Now, I'm looking at this dice, okay? And I'm also looking at this cube again. Okay, this is a cube and this is a dice, but the shape is exactly the same. Okay, but you didn't know that. Okay, a dice is in the shape of a cube. Now I'm looking at this pencil case here. Okay, I can see this pencil case. Okay, and if I just move it a little bit forward, just like this. Okay, and this cylinder, look, they look exactly the same, okay? There's one face at the top, one face at the bottom, and two edges. Same with the cylinder, okay? It's exactly the same. How weird is that? And the last one, okay, is the cuboid, okay? And this is a present, maybe one of uh, Mr. Rogers' birthday presents, okay? If you move it, okay, you can see they are exactly the same as well. The same amount of faces, the same amount of edges too. Okay. So you can see how a lot of objects around our house and even around our school, they are a shape of a, um, a 3D shape. Okay. They are a 3D shape. So let's have a little think together. So me, oh, you can see myself. Okay, I went around my house and I found these. So I found a cube, or, uh, I found a Rubik's cube. Okay, Miss Khan likes to have a bit of a puzzle. Not completed it yet, but I'll try my best. Okay, a tin of chopped tomatoes from my mum. An orange, one of my five a day. Okay, and an ice cream. Okay, you know I love a good, I've got a really bad sweet tooth. Okay. Now, I need your help. Can you help me find which one looks like a cylinder, which one looks like a sphere, or which one looks like a cube? Have a little think, maybe have a little chat with someone next to you, okay? Which of these objects look like a cylinder, a sphere, 
or a cube? Which one? Perfect. Now, if I go back, retrieve some old learning, I remember, okay, a cylinder has two faces, two flat faces, and two edges. Now, looking at all of these objects, I can see that the top tomato has one face at the top, one face at the bottom, one edge at the bottom, and one edge at the top. So I know this, okay, is a cylinder. This looks like a cylinder. Now the next one, it says a sphere, okay. Ignoring the leaf on this orange, okay, this orange definitely looks like a sphere because there's only one curved face, one curved face and no edges. Okay, so this is our, looks like our sphere. And the last one it asks for is a cube, okay, is a cube. Now, if you're not too sure what the properties of a cube were, go back. So let's go back. We can go back together now. I'm going to go all the way back. And it says a cube has 12 edges and six faces. So I'm going to go all the way back and find out, right, this, um, does this have six faces? Definitely not. So I automatically know this one is the cube, okay, because you can see one, two, three, one on the side, four, one at the back, five, and one at the bottom, six, okay, and the edges. Yeah. So you can see that a lot of objects around our house or even around our school look, hat, look like 3D shapes. Oh, it is your turn, okay. I want you to go around your house, okay. I want you to find objects, okay, that look like a cube, okay. You want, might want to draw, okay, them in the boxes underneath. So if I saw, um, like I had my Rubik's cube, I would draw my Rubik's cube here, okay? I'm not expecting, okay, a Vincent van Gogh drawing, okay? Try your best and Miss Khan will be happy, okay? Again, you might see a Sophia, you might have a football at home, you might draw a football, okay? You might wanna label it football too if Miss Khan's not too sure, so using your phonics football, okay? Oh, Miss Khan never done this. And you might find some fruit. You might find some other objects that have the uh, that look like a sphere. Okay. I'll be posting this sheet on Class Dojo again. There's no expectations for you to print the sheet. You might want to draw this table out and write cube, cuboid, cone, cylinder, and sphere, and write the objects down. You might want to draw the objects down that you find around your house and label them. It is up to you. I would love to see this on Evidence Me, okay? And I will see you tomorrow with some more shape learning. See you later, guys. Bye.